Ozaki, I'm so pleased you've come. Ika, this is my good friend Hotsumi Ozaki of the Asahi newspaper. My name is Johnson. Hotsumi Ozaki. Thank you for joining us. Agnes has been singing your praises. She tells me no one in Shanghai understands Asia as profoundly as you do. I told Mr. Johnson about the brutality we witnessed yesterday. Oh, it's so painful to watch people die for a belief. As long as the Chinese remain divided, they'll never be liberated. The only way they can unite is under a communist flag. But the Chinese Communist Party is too small to make a difference. Well then, we'll have to help it grow. Is that why you wanted to meet me, Mr. Johnson? I need an accurate account of Japanese military plans. How far into China does their interest stretch? Estimate of the Kanto's regiment strength in Manchuria? The kind of detail that doesn't get into print. Now, if you have access to that kind of information, perhaps we can make a difference. Mr. Johnson is the only man in Shanghai who can drink me under the table. Agnes, how long have you known him? He's my friend, Ozaki. Take my word for it that he's trustworthy and help him if you can, as a favor to me. あの日から私は日本上層部の情報が入ることにそれをゾルゲに伝えた私の情報提供にゾルゲは報酬を申し出てきたが受け取らなかった私にはスパイをしているという認識はなかった列強に植民地化されているアジアの屈辱を解放すること
A Prussian officer like me finds it hard to comprehend how an obscure corporal from Austria can rise to lead the German people. Well, you unit's a great warrior, if I may ask. The trenches in Belgium, Eastern Front, Galicia, and then Verden. I was a student volunteer, injured three times in action. The Kaiser took two centimeters from my leg and gave me the Iron Cross for my troubles. My comrade in arms. I spent two years in France and Belgium myself. I'm sure we shall be great friends. Hmm? Should be honored. It's amazing how men can establish a bond so quickly. <laughs> what a pity it's not that way between men and women. So many bores here, they become. Your Excellency may present a friend of mine, a journalist from Berlin. Ambassador Dixon, this is Dr. Richard Sorge. Sorge? Didn't you write an article about the Emperor's proclamation that Manchuria would become Japan's lifeline to Asia? A stimulating essay. Well argued, some conclusions. I'm flattered, sir. You have some interesting friends, Eugen. Visit me at the embassy here, Doctor, and we'll have a talk. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your husband often fraternized with Japanese officers. The command headquarters are only one block away. They are here every day. Where do you live? This is Yomei Gate. The exquisite decoration is representative of Hoshogu Shrine, a symbol of the power of the government of Edo. Dr. Sorge, come on. It's wonderful inside. Money was funneled from Moscow and usually delivered by couriers from the Soviet embassy in Tokyo. those poor girls have been sold into prostitution they're heading for the big cities Tokyo Osaka well it makes one thing that communists might have a point it takes a little more than pity to make a communist Careful analysis of the growing frustration within the military suggests that a major upheaval is unavoidable.
アグネスこの人ね私の親友で今日40年になりました誕生日ですそうですそうです Very old Enjoy your stay おめでとうございますそれなんですか Happy birthday to you ありがとうありがとう私ズルガ私はアグネスアグネスあなたアグネスはいそうです同じ名前の人私知ってます本当は花子です花子7 minutes 15 seconds. Okay, Max. Let's get Vladivostok. The contact code is Wiesbaden. What's our code? Ramsey. R for Ricard, S for Zorba. How far can we reach? His record so far is 4,000 kilometers. 4,000? Wooden houses here won't block the signal. This is Fiesbaden. Roger. Receiving you. Loud and clear. Please start transmitting. We did it! Yeah! You're a genius, Max. <laughs> My darling Ika, I hope you're well and enjoying life in Tokyo. Tomorrow I take time off from work to visit the doctor. I will have to be careful now in case your baby's living inside me. Come in, please. Ah, Dr. Zorge. You wanted to see me, Your Excellency. Your reports on the uprising are appearing everywhere. Even Moscow is paying attention to articles signed RS. You will make your name with this. Thank you, Your Excellency. It would have to be in an unofficial capacity, but I want you to join Colonel Ott's confidential intelligence group so we can keep your expertise close at hand. 
I'd like you to have your own office here, at the embassy. I think I can manage that, sir. It's not very large. No, this will be perfect for me. Oh, you have a nice view of the Dyke building over there. How about that? It's everything I took for you. My comrade and eyes. I'm grateful to you, Eichel. I have to go. Dixon's waiting. Thank you, Miss Kiefer. Very thoughtful.
My darling Ika. Our dream has come true. I found out today that I'm carrying your child. If I believed in God, I would pray for your return before May, when I'm due to deliver. You've been seeing someone else. Embassy gossip. I heard a rumor you're married to someone else. You've been unkind. You owe me nothing. If you're tired of me, you only have to say so. I'd like to keep seeing you, Alma, but I don't want your husband to find out. I've already told him. You have? He doesn't care. He's more interested in other men's wife than his own. If you've got a moment, Richard, I have a matter of some delicacy to discuss. Concerning Helma, perhaps? No. <laughs> no. But now you've brought it up. Um, I should thank you for what you've been doing for her. Thank me? Helma and I reached an accommodation years ago. Since you've been spending time with her, my life at home has been far more agreeable. She doesn't complain as she used to, so I'm grateful to you. All I require is your discretion. You can count on it. What's the matter of some delicacy? Do I have your assurance of total secrecy? Eugen, that goes without saying. Negotiations are underway for a secret treaty between Germany and Japan, directed, of course, against our common enemy, the Soviet Union. This is not being done through the normal channels, though. The Japanese military has bypassed its own government and is now in direct contact with our national defense headquarters. We need to set up some lines of communication so the embassy won't be left out. I need some assistance with encryption. Not really my forte, but I'll do anything I can to help. Golden 
怖いわ。怖い。どうしてですか。あなたは外人だから。<笑> I can't change that. Please be patient with me. Haven't I always been? Always. That's why I came. The German ambassador resigned, and my friend, His Excellency Eugen Ott, was appointed his replacement. I heard that Bukharin was executed right after the trial. He was your mentor. You always say he was the best teacher of communism. Don't you think that Stalin's purges have gone too far? はい、結構です。早速見積もりいたします。ありがとうございました。This you won't believe. There was the Ministry of War that just placed an order with 50,000 yen. Anna! We are already working with Mitsui, Mitsubishi, Hitachi, and Shiba Ula. I have to hire more staff. Richard, look, I brought this man at the Simbi Kia store for you. Thank you. I'll pick it up later. Come on, Max, we have some work to do. Don't worry, I'll be back in an hour. Okay. Come on, Richard. Let's ride in comfort. New car, Max. Well, Anna insisted. Betson and Yuritsky have been relieved of their duties. I've been ordered to return to Moscow. Don't go back, Richard. Not now. You could be walking to a firing squad. I wouldn't dream of it. But they didn't send me my allocation this month. I've been asked to cover my expenses with your profits. What profits? I've committed myself to buy new machinery and have a payroll to meet. So do I. Now things will settle down in Moscow in a month or two. They always do. Can't you cut down on your expenses till then? I really don't see how. You have to buy a new Mercedes. Well, 
my outlook has been changing lately. I like living in Japan. So do I. It's a wonderful country. I like running my own business too, and <laughs> I enjoy driving this car. Perhaps I'm not such a good communist anymore. And to be honest, that's strictly between the two of us. Stalin has been quite a disappointment to me. Your business is a cover, Max. It was started with money from the fourth department. If I brought you here, you know what you'd be doing now? Fixing tractors in the Volvo Republic. Forgot. I have this letter for you. I think it's from Katya. My darling Ika, thank you so much for your wonderful letter. Thank you also for your generous gift for the baby. Your parcel arrived safely. My beloved Ika, I'm so sorry to tell you that a few days ago I suffered a miscarriage. Dr. Sorge. At last the fatherland has overcome the disgrace of Versailles. 22 years after our defeat in 1918. Sooner than I thought. No, far too long. Dr. Sorge, I'm Colonel Joseph Meisinger. I'm just arrived here to take over our Far East Department. My pleasure, sir. I'm aware of your reputation as a resident expert on the region, Dr. Sorge. I've never been in Asia before, so I'll be needing your help. You know where to find me. Thank you very much. The scent of the swine in my nose makes being here almost tolerable. I find the stench of the city overwhelming. Quite unlike the aroma of Berlin. Ah, yes. And the humidity in Tokyo, it's, it's stifling. I can only hope that I have been not exiled here. <laughs> Auf den Führer. If you will. Hmm. Sorry, man. They called him the Butcher of Warsaw. He killed so many Jews, they had to get him out of there. And now is your problem. Our regiments have embarked on an attack which will take them straight to Moscow. Now we must not shirk our duty, we will convince the Japanese authorities to join our war against the Soviet Union. The oil embargo is a serious blow to Konoe. America may provoke Japan into a war. The military attaché of our embassy obtained information on Japan's oil supply from one of the naval officers. The Navy has a two-year supply. The army only a six months, but the civilian population about the same. Our ally is not that reliable after all. 
Japan is painting itself into a corner. Well, if the embargo goes on, the Japanese warships won't be much more than bonsai, will they? It was decided at the Imperial Conference. Negotiations with the United States will continue until the end of October. Really? Winter is near. Remember what happened to Napoleon. Japan won't invade Siberia. Mr. Johnson. The Soviet Union is safe for now. Getting this message delivered will be Ramsey's biggest mission now. Then our duty will be over. I can finally go home. To Moscow or Berlin? What will happen if no agreement can be reached with America before the end of October? Japan will go to war. Do they really think they can take on America and win? Doesn't it bother anyone that all these nice people will be sent off to die? The Japanese must survive this storm. We must learn or there is no future for us. I'll bear the burdens of war along with my people. Five minutes. How are you? I'm well. How is the food? Satisfactory. Is there anything you need? Nothing. I'm so sorry, Eugen. Dr. Zog, would you like a visit from a priest? 
appreciate the offer, but I won't take you up on it. I've never believed in God. My only Bible has been Das Kapital. You do not deceive me yourself. Are you sick? Yes, I am. Sick that I abandoned my wife in Moscow. Sick that I deceived a girl in Tokyo who loves me and cares for me. What must she think? Sick to the heart that I took Ozaki's life from him. And what was it all for? I failed utterly. The world is at war. I'm worn down by the weight of my failure. I'm ready for the end. And if I tell you that, the Red Army has won on the Eastern Front. The Hitler's troops are in retreat. Moscow is safe now. Perhaps your life was not entirely wasted after all. もう無理です。死後硬直を起こしています。